Hello, your friendly neighborhood host, uh, JT Wheatley here again, back for another episode of the History of Comics Podcast. Once again, with another episode of the Classics, as we're still in our season break. But uh, with this episode, considering it's on the 4th of July, the uh, birth date of America, we'll be doing, of course, a nicely patriotic uh, story with Captain America, Operation Rebirth, which collected uh, issues number 445 to 448 by Mark Wade and Ron Garney. That was the beginning of their acclaimed but sadly short-lived run on Captain America, as unfortunately Marvel... Uh, in 1996 would hand over the reins to uh, many of their main core characters from Captain America, Fantastic Four, and the Avengers to uh, Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, and some of the image creators that left a few years earlier and an aborted attempt to try to get the sales back up. Let's face it, the 90s were not a good uh, decade for Marvel. You can go back to listen to my History of Marvel Comics uh, episodes and you can definitely detail that. But uh, some gems did survive during that and a great example was this story. In Captain America, Operation Rebirth, uh, it takes place after he seemingly died in the previous issue of the issue number 444, but he suddenly, of course, comes back as the uh, story tells with the help of uh, a blood transfusion from Red Skull and also a revived Sharon Carter who has been disappeared since for a long time, and this issue represented her return to the comics um, medium. A uh, gr- great adventurous run by Mark Wade. It really gets to the core of the Captain America character. He's just a true soldier. He's a patriot, but he's not willing. He's willing to do what needs to be done to accomplish the mission. Great. Also, Sharon Carter is great too. As a return, as a more jaded hero, as it, it, she relates to how she survived her apparent death. Which, if you go back and look at, it, it's one of the worst deaths ever uh, depicted. I mean, literally, he was Captain America was showed a video of her dying. I mean, yeah, if anyone could come back. F- in comic books, uh, that would been it would Sharon Carter. But she makes a great pairing with him, and they also immediately start uh, getting their romantic vibe going again. Which, in hindsight of the uh, Endgame uh, revelation, uh, this is still kind of weird, but keep in mind that's not in the, that's in the, that's not in the, mo- that's in the movies, not in the comic books. And, of course, uh, having uh, Captain America work along Red Skull, that's a fun pairing, too, and this makes for a great adventure. All back to uh, another uh, classic um, trope with the Captain America. They're all after one uh, powerful object, which if you're a Captain America fan, you know exactly what that is too. But this is a great run to one of the best runs of Captain America period. I mean, Mark Wade's writing is crisp and sincere. Ron Garney is a true storyteller, does some great action scenes, and does a perfect depiction of both uh, Captain America and Red Skull, who both are both physically powerful and menacing. Great read from beginning to end, and if you're looking for a good patriotic story on the 4th of July, this is the one to get. Just a tr- and honestly, while it's a bit of not just talk about much, this is a true classic in every sense of the word. And now, being July 4th, 2019, time for the favorite comic book of the week. This one's a bit of a surprise. Uh, the Walking Dead number 193 by Robert Kirkman and Charlie Adlard, which finds them uh, abruptly ending the series. Kirkman did a smart thing having Adlard actually distribute some uh, covers to the distributors for future, ep- for future uh, issues, making so that no one knew this would be the final issue until it finally came out. And as he explains in his closing remarks in Dendum, uh, he points out that he... Seriously thought about uh, ending the series at maybe 200, giving a nice even number, and had even a different ending in mind. But once he got here, he realized this is it. This is all the stories he had to tell, and it's admirable that he chose to end it uh, when he did. He, he did. Stri- well, g- granted, one 193 issues is a fantastic run for any comic, and but and it's uh, for the most part ups and downs. This has been one of the best comic books in recent memory. This issue in particular is a great uh, wrapping up of all the main characters, and let's be frank, the remaining characters of the story. Depicting the world that uh, since the zombie apocalypse, which has now been called the trials to the population at large, and how it's now been reformed and made, showing where characters have gone, how their attitudes have changed, and so forth, and it makes a fitting end to them. Like even though, and he he really does give a closing on these characters at least. What's best all though is that even though the characters have their run from the original story, the world is ripe for new storytelling. If Kirkman ever wants to come back to it, or if he maybe wants to hand it off to someone else. Because the world he creates in this is very interesting and one that could be interesting to explore later on down the road. Or if not, uh, like I said, 193 issues on a comic, that's a fantastic run and more than enough stories to read for the rest of your life. 
Meanwhile, Charlie Adlar does a perfect, uh, gritty and crisp art that was a that his art uh, pairing with Kirby was just as good, and is also an equal contributor. Why this is one of the great comic books, and especially horror comics in recent memory. Uh, perfect ending to a great so- se- series, and one of the great runs in the comic books, and definitely worth picking up. And uh, with that, we will conclude. I just want to tell everyone to have a happy uh, 4th of July. Uh, Be safe. uh, Enjoy some fireworks and cookouts with your friends and family. And if you get a chance, uh, I know my local comic store, Borderlands, is having a sale um, in the upstate. If you want to check it out. Uh, And they're open to probably not be close to closing for the 4th of July. But go out and count local comic book store. Enjoy a good comic book. And, of course, enjoy Captain America Rebirth. That is a true classic.